Hi, this is Tim, and I've just prepared this short side-by-side uh, -side comparison of analog video standards, that's PAL versus NTSC. And um, we often see people comparing analog to digital video systems, but what they then do is probably show the, the analog system in perhaps its worst light. So I would argue that analog is at its best when set to the PAL video standard and this setting has to be made in the camera itself not in the Betaflight OSD setting. What we have here is uh, PAL on the left and NTSC on the right and I've sized these videos so that they've got the same number of lines per inch vertically and this reflects the fact that PAL has more lines uh, vertically. It has uh, 625 lines whereas NTSC has I think 540 something like that so obviously in the goggles these videos appear exactly the same size so the NTSC um, version is stretched stretched out slightly and you will find when setting up your OSD in beta flight there's less room to put your OSD elements so obviously you, you can see that the this isn't an ideal comparison because there's a lot of differences these were taken months apart but using exactly the same equipment the OSD on the left it, although there's more on it I would argue seems to be less cluttered in Europe we jokingly say that NTSC stands for never twice the same color um, because the color stability of NTSC is just rotten compared to PAL and hopefully you can see that in the way the white text is breaking up in the NTSC version on the PAL version of the video it's not as good as digital but it, I, I think you might be hard pressed to tell the difference I've never tried one of the uh, digital systems I'd like to have a go one day but um, they're just too expensive I can't afford to like double the price of everything I fly analog I, I choose to fly it in PAL mode you might like to try the same